and welcome to Business Edition. In this program, we're focusing on the week of customer care service. And to talk all about this, I have with me Doreen Kisoki, the head of customer care operations, Vodacom Tanzania. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So it's all about customer care service, and I'm welcoming you to our building here at ITV. Yes. Thank but you. I'm also expecting to get some services from you, Vodacom, as well. Yes, and I hope you're a Vodacom customer. I am a Vodacom customer. Great. For how long? Um, uh, more than eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. So you must be enjoying it. I am enjoying What's it. What's your favorite um, product that you use? Uh, M-Pesa. And M-Pesa, I've just kind of like joined into that. You've, you said it's loan sort of service yes. that you started. I've yes. sort of like started it and I'm seeing, I'm trying to assess and see where I'll get with it. Okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's it, a very good service. I mean, Mpesa is growing. Um, it has evolved a lot from being uh, sending money to another person, becoming a health platform it has become a yeah especially loan. for the insurance uh, insurance services, yes yeah. you can get your car loan you can get your health, health insurance yes so for most people who are employed they get the insurance from the offices but for people who are not employed you can pay only up to seventy thousand shillings per year how much do we spend going to the hospital and it's easy to get it started immediately you don't need to do it you don't need to go into an office you can do it as a convenience at your home Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. So I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to see what um, they can get throughout this week from uh, Vodacom. Yes. All yes. right. Yes. So uh, let's get down to the customer care service mm. week. Yes. Why is this week so important? Uh, so this week is celebrated not just in Tanzania, not just it's in a, Vodacom. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a countries world, around the world. Yes, yeah. a worldwide uh, celebration. And it is, its aim is to recognize customer service uh, staff who are offering uh, services to our customers is to recognize the work they're doing because they're our frontliners. They're fighting for our customers. So we want to recognize them and to appreciate them. But also at the same time, we want to appreciate the customers we are working with, the customers who keep us where we are. And um, this week, we have been recognizing our customer service uh, officers, our customer service staff, in different shops, in our call centers, and um, we, we're, we're really telling them, you know what, we are together, we're one team, and we, are, we want to, uh, to appreciate them and just to show them, you know what, what you're doing is important. Is there anything special that you're doing? Because um, I know that customer care is something that you're supposed to be doing every day. Yes. It's something that's there every day. So this is just a special week, but is there something special uh, that you'll be doing that is going to be different maybe from the kind of customer service care that you provide already? So uh, not so much difference because we are always trying to do our best. So what we've done this week, uh, our MD, Philippe, has gone to shops. He's, uh, he's engaged with customers. We've cut cakes. We've opened a new uh, Vodacom shop at um, Seacliff, uh, Seacliff Village, and we have been recognizing our customer service officers, but we've also been doing um, a lot of charity also uh, in our regions. There's some people who've been having some difficulties in raising money for health, uh, and we've been doing that, especially in the southern region and in the Dodoma as well. So there's been a lot, not just for the business, but also touching people's lives. And as you would know, we're also doing the Butiama uh, cycling. Cycling, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. We are now, our cyclists are at Ibunga. We've contributed up to 175 um, desks. Uh, and uh, we, we're continuing to do that until we reach the, the end of the line. This is a week where I'm sure um, you have an opportunity to hear from the customers themselves, you know. Yes. What is it that they're facing? What is it they like about the kind of services that you're providing? Mm -hmm. uh, let's start off with the, um, the challenges. Um, what are kind of questions um, mm -hmm. mostly asked by the customers right now? So we, like yesterday we went, we, we did a market storm. We went to Mwenge, we went to Bagala, we went to different areas where we met customers face to face and we asked them, what are your challenges? How can we help you? So most of the customers would, they want more services from us. They want us to do better. 
And um, the areas uh, of concern mostly is uh, I, I, I want to know when I'm sending money to someone, have they received it, to ensure that the SMS is arriving on time. But also customers want to know when we launch new products, they should be the first ones to know. Yeah, so different products that we have, like Vodabima, they want to understand what does this Vodabima mean? Uh, what are the interests? So it means uh, more education, sensitization, more education. Um, campaigns yes. are needed. Yes, yeah. yes. So we, we, we see that there's a need of doing more mm -hmm. education to these customers mm -hmm. because our country, I think it's not a, a, we don't have a culture of health insurance. So when you are telling them or when they're receiving messages, they want to know what does this mean? to me as a customer. So we've been educating them, we've been educating them the importance of making sure that your number is registered and if you have more than one number to make sure that you're registering those numbers because it's a requirement by TCRA and just to make sure that you, you're safe so that no one takes up your number and then commits fraud and then you don't know. Um, yeah, so some of the queries are more of education. Many Tanzanians still don't know, mm -hmm. you know, what can they benefit? How can mm -hmm. they benefit from insurance, mm -hmm. health insurance? Mm -hmm. uh, they face challenges, you know, accessing the, yes. the uh, insurance services from mm -hmm. the um, national institutions right now. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to, you know, such services mm -hmm. on mobile service, uh, mm -hmm. mobile phones, you know, accessing them and, you know, mm -hmm. how is, is it really genuine, you know? Um, so when it comes to Vodacom, mm -hmm. you know, um, what can you tell customers about the way you're providing the services mm -hmm. that you've, you know, you'll get them to, to, to connect with these services? Yeah, uh, so for Voda Bima, uh, health insurance, it's easy because uh, you don't have to spend much money. So let's say you go to a hospital, how much do you normally spend just for the visit, just to see the doctor? We're assuring you that you can get your health service for just 70000 one year and I think that's very cheap that's very affordable for most uh, for most Tanzanians and it it removes all your headaches from or inconveniences in case you get sick or someone gets sick because unfortunately when you get sick no one plans for it it comes unplanned so the the fact that we're offering it and it's at an affordable rate it's something that Tanzanians should actually rejoice and take it up and when it comes to your services, um, can they access uh, medical services with this insurance at any hospital? Or are there certain hospitals that, you know, uh, uh, that you are working with that can, they can access these uh, medical services? So once they, once they register, they will be notified which hospitals they can use. Yeah. Is that yeah. easy? Yes, it's that easy. So Just from your phone. So, um, as I said, it's still education, education. People it's, don't know. Yeah, people don't know. And we have a lot more than just uh, health insurance. We have for your car insurance. You want to pay, is it a third party or is it a comprehensive? You want a smartphone. You can pay for your smartphone slowly, slowly. You don't have to pay a lump sum. Let's say um, you want to buy a Samsung. It costs maybe 600000 It's expensive. Mm -hmm. But you're able to pay that on a daily basis. You just walk into our shop with 20,000 shillings and on a daily basis we deduct at, at least 850 shillings. That's less than 1,000 on a daily basis for a number of, of months. And then, but you, you walk out with your phone. Um, then, then with the 20,000 you walk out with the phone yes. and um, uh, do you sign contracts? So how do, you, how do you know that that person will be able to pay that? Um, you know, they can just get the phone and uh, throw the chip away and that's it, you won't be able to get them. But, uh, the, the, how do you know that this person will be able to pay this? So we look, we look at your transactions, we look at your transaction, there's a, there's a logic behind it, uh, whereby we've partnered with some uh, banks or some companies who look at your sc uh, credit scoring based on the transactions that you do. So we're sure that you're capable of paying to what amount. What has the response been so far? The response has been great. The response has been great. It's amazing how many people are walking to our shops to just request for this because it shows that there's a need for smartphones. There's a need for people to use data because it opens you up to the world. It opens you up to doing business with a lot of people. You don't have to open a shop. You can actually do your business on your phone. You can communicate with anyone. So with um, 
improvements on data and uh, availability of smartphone access, uh, in terms of affordability, it makes your life so much easier. So Vodacom is more of a lifestyle platform for our customers. Throughout this week, uh, are there certain groups um, that you'll be visiting, maybe entrepreneurs, maybe it's the farmers, maybe it's the uh, teachers. Mm -hmm. um, how have you divided your time to make sure that at least you to reach all these various groups uh, in terms of making sure that uh, they get answers to the questions that they have in certain services? Mm -hmm. So we have our, our business partners, um, like the big companies that we deal with, and the SMEs, we have called them into our offices. We've had meetings with them throughout the week uh, with different groups. And they come, they ask their questions, they, ask, they tell us what they need. And uh, from these engagements, we realize where the gap is, where we need to put on improvement. And we also tell them more of what more we can give them. So for now, like uh, we have IoT, Internet of Things, how can you connect your devices in home? You can have a smart home whereby you can decide to switch on your AC even before you get home. That is, that is possible with the technology that we are offering to these customers. So for customers who have um, small businesses, we can give them routers and advise them how many people they can have hooked on on the router. And it has been a great, uh, it has been very responsive. Customers have been very forthcoming. They've been quite open. And it was an opportunity for them to also meet others for networking. So we also created that platform for them to meet business, other businesses for them to network and to grow their businesses. Okay, so throughout mm -hmm. this uh, couple of days that uh, mm -hmm. you've been providing these services, mm -hmm. um, what is it that uh, um, has stood out from um, you know, the customers uh, mm -hmm. that uh, Vodacom is making sure that uh, they address uh, that certain issue? Um, so some of the issues will be like network availability. We're ensuring our customers that our network is available in most places. If, but if there's anyone who thinks that I am struggling in a certain area, we always want to get that person because we're available at least 99%. If there's a specific problem on a certain area, we also take it as an, a one-off thing and then we address it as it comes. But uh, network issues have been very limited. Our network customers are telling us our network is very good, our data is good, doesn't have to wait for very long, doesn't have to do buffering for you to get your services. So And what has you know led to that improvement do you think? Investments. We've we've invested heavily on our network and uh, we are we're a company which is led by quality. We want to make sure that our quality is top notch. So we'll, we've been leading in terms of feed, even from feedback from the different uh, surveys that we've been doing internally. And that has been our number one uh, attribute that customers tell us that your network is good. So um, if I go to some far off village somewhere, maybe uh, in Lindi or Kilwa, uh, I should expect some good yeah. services from Vodacom. I will assure you. There will be no more having to climb on trees <laughs> and that. No, people don't <laughs> climb on trees. To access communication services. If there is any place like that, do let me know. Okay, but yes. you, you talked about um, uh, making sure that everyone has access to a smartphone to mm -hmm. be able to access these um, financial services, to be able to access these digital services. Um, mm -hmm. Do people down there in the rural areas, in the villages, know about these opportunities? Or is it just us in the, in the urban areas right now? Because, you know, they're still mm. using... Um, feature phones. Yeah, feature phones, mm. yeah. Mm. The knowledge is there. The knowledge is there. It's just that, as I said earlier, the issue has been affordability. And as you would be aware, Mama Samia has been driving this agenda that we need to reach at least 80% on broadband internet, not just phones, communication. Most people have their phones, but we want to reach 80% on broadband internet. So we are also riding on that and we are also ensuring that our customers, even in the rural areas, are using data. Okay. Because it opens up to your financial inclusion as well. It and it's, it's for farmers as well um, to be able to access the right exactly. markets, to be able to know exactly. when to grow certain crops, to uh, you know when is the right time to harvest certain mm -hmm. crops. So, so we have a product called Mkulima. And well, how is that working? That one, uh, so you, you, can, you, can, you can go into your smartphone and you'll identify when the rains are coming, when should you do the planting, 
where would you what where is your market and where do you get fertilizer so it's like a whole value chain that is connected on one platform so it really helps the farmers to know exactly what they're doing and when should they do it is it uh, working it is working. So it there's is. some there's been some improvements then. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm and sure a, a lot of farmers one who are using it are really glorifying it and they're saying this is a great service and it's been it's been our one of our, the best products for the past year. Okay. But yeah. uh, if you look at a, a challenge that maybe you you face mm. uh, when you know implementing this um, service, mm. uh, what to you stands out that you really have to find a solution to really quickly to make sure that it is successful? Um, the challenges, I would say, is the affordability of the smartphones, which we've already addressed. Yeah, because you said that with the small installments, mm -hmm. is, there, is there a time frame for people to be able to finish paying? You, you can choose, I think, from three months to six months or up to a year. You can choose how you want to pay. So depending on how your payment plan, you, you choose how much you want to pay and for how long. So, it's, so, so it's we're going to see a lot of Tanzanians with uh, smartphones, smartphones yes. with that program. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, M-Pesa um, mm. is one of the um, successful stories when it comes to um, mm. uh, financial services mm. on, you know, smartphones. Yeah. Just the smartphones and you can do everything on your phone. Mm -hmm. Pay your bills, purchase this and yes. that. Yes. Um, it's a success story. Mm. So um, as you're marking this week, you know, mm. um, what to you stands out, uh, especially when it comes to um, financial inclusion? Um, so for, for M-Pesa, we have um, our lending products and we also have our saving products. So I'm sure a lot of Tanzanians are aware of Songesha. So in the middle of the night, your, your look runs out and you don't have money on your M-Pesa. You might have cash, but you don't have money on your M-Pesa to buy Luku. What do you do? You can easily go to Songesha and you can request for a certain amount based on your limit and you can easily light up your lights for that night. Um, it's a quite an, a convenient product for most of our customers and we're seeing that a lot of customers are using it. Not only that, we're also enabling our colors or the agents who are offering cash out services. We're enabling them by giving them loans. So let's say you don't have the capital. We can give you a loan for a day, for a week, for you to run your business. So we're enabling Tanzanians to do business. Um, the other product I want to talk to is that M-Pesa is now, if you have a smartphone, we have an app for, for M-Pesa. It's called M-Pesa app. But now we have, it has evolved, it has become M-Pesa super app. Okay. It has a lot in it. It's easy to use. You have everything there in one app. So you can, let's say you want to travel, you can easily book your tickets on the app. And we now have a discount of 20% from Precision Airways. So you can easily buy your ticket at a discount and go and travel, which you don't have to walk into a shop. You don't need to go to a, a travel agent. You don't need to spend much money. You simplified everything and everything. put the services right there right on the there. handset. On your handset. I mean, there's a lot of women entrepreneurs right now. Mm. And uh, are they seeing the opportunities there to, by using these services there? That's a great question. Because I know that uh, well, women are pretty cautious when it comes to um, access are taking loans. Um, but um, these are opportunities that maybe mm. you've made it made them simple or easier for them to be able to access the loans and mm. be able to be able to develop the businesses and mm. pay back the loans on time? So that's a great question um, you've asked. So we have Vicoba, as you know, most women have Vicoba in, in the areas mm. where they live, mm -hmm. uh, either as a family and all that. So we came up with Mcoba. So Mcoba is a is a service whereby you can open your digital Vicoba using M-Pesa. So you will have your treasure, you have your, um, you have uh, the secretary, you also have a chairperson. And there's rules that, that say this is how much uh, a person can contribute, this is how much they can request for a loan, this is how much they're saving, and you have all visibility in terms of reports, who has contributed, how much the person is asking, these approval processes that is visible to all members. 
and that has been working very 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 well and we see a lot of women are using it um we might not be able to have the numbers in terms of how many vicobas have been opened through mpesa but the number is growing significantly so in terms of security it is very safe it's very secure it's very secure because remember the old vicoba people used to have money cash in their homes and people always break break down into their homes and f and get that money because mm. they know today they've they've collected but you know you can you can contribute through mpesa anywhere anytime and that money is safe in mkoba you don't have to access it even when you're giving a loan to someone it is done through mpesa so it is safe, not just for, for our members to know that our money is safe as a group, but also for the person who's receiving or collecting the amounts. So um, this service has started particularly for those sort of like uh, financial groups, you know, yes. like, you know, women entrepreneurial yes. groups and stuff like that. Yes. It's yes. a particular service for them. But not, not really or for them. Think... Everyone can use it. Everyone can use it. Now we're seeing families are using it, uh, friends, um, but mostly it's women who are using this service. Yeah. So it's quite a successful story. It is a successful story. Indeed. Okay. And another indeed. service that uh, I've seen that uh, um, M-Pesa has, has offered is also Empower. What is the difference between M-Koba and Empower now? Um, Empower is it's personal. So let's say you, you have your money, you decide every month I want to save maybe 10% of my salary. So you put it on your M-Pesa and you send it to Empower and you put a saving there. And you can always get a loan based on how much money you have saved. So let's say you save 400,000 and you want to get maybe 600,000 as a loan. You can always get that loan. What are customers saying? Um, would they want, are they happy with the, the way the services are right now? Would they like to see improvements in this area and in mm -hmm. the services? And if improvements, what, what kind of improvements um, do most people want? Uh, I would say customers are happy with our services. But there's always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. There's always an area where we can make it better. We can always change. It might not be what customers want, but it might be that we've seen there's an opportunity to improve. Let's say if it takes you six steps to send money, can we reduce it to two? Most customers want visibility. They want to be responded immediately. And some of the things that we have done is um, improve the way customers communicate with us. Uh, in the old ways, uh, when the uh, mobile operating uh, or telecom started, you used to call 100, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing people remember that. Whenever I have a problem, what do I do? I call 100 or I go into a shop. But now we're telling customers, no, you don't have to. A lot of customers use SMSs. A lot of our customers use WhatsApp. So we decided to reach out to them through these channels. So now we're telling customers, if you are having a problem, you don't have to come to the shop. You don't have to call 100 because 100 is usually congested. So you can send the WhatsApp and we'll respond to you on WhatsApp. So that's, that, is, that is a channel that we are encouraging our customers to use. So you say, someone will say, I don't have bundle. You can use SMS as well. Same way the customer who's using WhatsApp is going to be responded to, we also do for, for SMS. But we're also available on our, um, our social media channels, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I would like to give, a, uh, to give a caution to customers that if you're sending a message to tell us your problem, please do not include your number on, a, on the wall, but you can send us as an inbox. Mm. Yes, so most of the time there's fraudsters, they can take your number and then they'll send you messages and all that. But we try and encourage our customers to use inbox because it's secure, no one can see the, our communication and we can always give you the, the help that you need. So let's say you've sent a PESA and it has gone to a wrong person, I'll always advise you what you need to do. But I will, I will encourage you not to put it up on the wall because other people will see it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those are the channels that we're encouraging our customers to use so that they can, they can get service, which is almost instantly. One area of concern for me, mm -hmm. uh, you talked about uh, sending money um, mm -hmm. through M-Pesa. 
Um, it's just an pesa but you know, whenever you make transactions and mm -hmm. uh, you're trying to send it to uh, we, whoever it is they want to send, mm -hmm. and um, that money doesn't go through. Mm. And uh, you call customer service, say, look, I've sent money, but it's that person I'm sent to send the money to has I'm not received the money. Mm. And they tell you, oh, you have to wait 20, 24 hours or mm. somebody 70, 48 or 72 hours. Mm. It's like, why can't it be immediate? immediate. Yeah, because uh, I think it's a challenge having you, you, you somebody's in need of money. Mm. They need money maybe to pay medical mm. um, expenses or mm. something, mm. and then you have to tell them to wait 24, 48 hours. You know, um, it's, mm. this is something that I think that uh, has to be worked on. Yes, I uh, think it's it's a challenge. It's it's, it's a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge because uh, we have integrated with a lot of partners as well, with banks and other. Uh, mobile operators. So if, what happens is that when I, you're sending money from M-Pesa, it's working, but the other side, something is not right. So we're trying to address that. And uh, some of the things that we have done to address is that in case we find out that the other party is not working, maybe the system is down, we will not allow that money to leave your account. So at times you find that you're trying to send money and your transaction gets cancelled. Mm -hmm. It's because the other party is not ready to receive that money. Oh, that's, that's, a, it's, that's a big challenge. It is a big challenge. So we're, we're, we're trying to address it and uh, we're hoping to find the, uh, a solution soon because we know when a customer wants to send money because they need it immediately. Mm, exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's a, it's, it's a good challenge to have. It keeps us on our toes. It, it, it keeps us uh, uh, up at night. But uh, yeah, we're working on that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we have seen like a lot of improvement for the past few years. What we have done, um, not just as, as Vodacom, but also as Tamnoa, uh, that's the association for all the mobile operators, is to agree that we'll try and resolve most of our queries within six hours. That will be... That'll be so much, that that we have done. That will be much much. That's that a big we, improvement. That we have done. Yes. So we've had engagements with all, all the mobile operators. In case there's something wrong, can we refund this money within the six hours? So we are sitting at a very good uh, position right now in terms of doing that. Okay. Week is coming mm -hmm. to an end. Is mm -hmm. it means that it's the end of these special sort of services? Or shall it's we? Just the beginning. Shall, it's just the beginning. It's or just is the something beginning. It's going to be continuing. You know. So if I walk to a Vodacom shop, or I walk to a Vodacom office, I'll be able to have the same services I've been having throughout this week. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, we're always aiming to do our best, and um, our staff are very passionate about what they do, about the work they do, and we're very proud of them because they put in all their work and their spirit to doing, to achieving for the customer. So it's not a one-time event. For us, it's, a, it's the way we work. Okay, so maybe yes. a final message um, to our audience there. Um, as we, you know, the week comes to an end, um, mm. what would you like them to know? That uh, this is an opportunity for them to be able to, you know, if they have problems or whatever, um, for them mm. to be able to have those services. Okay, so for... For this week, and not just for this week, I would like to tell our customers that you can reach us, as I said, on WhatsApp, on our SMS. So WhatsApp number is 0754-100-100, and you can always send us a message, and we'll let you know what the pro uh, we'll inform you if there's a problem or, or resolve your query. But then we can also reach us on our handles, which is at Vodacom, Tanzania. And uh, we also have a Voda tube, something we call a Voda tube. In case you need anything, all the challenges we have tried to address, we have put it on our Voda tube on how to handle them. So for customers who are struggling how to reverse funds, you can use, you can go to our Voda tube. You can just go to our website and find Voda tube there. Click on it. There are videos on how to to manage your data. So there are some customers who have smartphones and they say that my data is depleting too fast. Mm -hmm. Go to Vodatube, we will show you exactly how to manage that data so it doesn't deplete so fast. How to reverse your funds, how to do anything you want to. So we, okay, you'll find all those videos there and you don't even have to call us. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, a great customer week for all of you, I hope. Thank and you. for you two at Vodacom. Uh, mm -hmm. Any special freebies, prizes? <laughs> Well, we're, we're giving well, you... Well, someone who's walking to a Vodacom shop, what should mm -hmm. they expect there? 
come to the shop and I'll and let you'll you know. And you'll find it. Yes. <laughs> some, yesterday we were at Sick Leaf, we were giving freebies. We have this kangas, really beautiful kanga. All right. Yes, and safari hats. Wow. And t-shirts, yes. Yeah, okay. I must go to the Sick Leaf Bodicom shop. <laughs> and uh, with that, we've come to the end of our program. And with us, we had today um, Doreen Kisoki, is head of mm -hmm. Customer Care Operations, Vodacom, Tanzania. My name is Yves Wanam Simok saying goodbye. Until next week. Watch Capital Television on our social media platform on YouTube, Capital Television Tanzania, Facebook, Capital Television Tanzania, Instagram, Capital TV TV.